Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, will lead tomorrow the Bahraini team in the Ironman Championship in South Africa with the participation of more than 1,200 contestants from different countries. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Bahraini team went through all kinds of training and preparation, affirming his keenness to create a perfect image in this competition in order to achieve a positive outcome and to participate in more events and championships in the future. He lauded the significant level and the high spirit of the team and their keenness to make more accomplishments, especially in the competition in South Africa. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, bid farewell to the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, who left Bahrain after an official visit during which he met with the kingdom's leadership. Kerry also held an official discussion session with the foreign minister and took part in the joint ministerial meeting with the GCC foreign ministers in preparation for a summit that will be held between the GCC leaders and the U.S. President Barack Obama in Riyadh on April the 21st. Sheikh Khalid hailed the visit of the U.S. Secretary of State to Bahrain within the framework of boosting strong historic relations between the two friendly countries and as part of continuous bilateral coordination regarding regional and international issues. He affirmed that the visit will give a further boost to bilateral relations to achieve joint aspirations and further promote regional security and stability. Very good evening, you're watching the business and news on Bahrain Television. Nasser Vocational Training Center signed a MOU with Tim Keen as part of Tim Keen's enterprise support for training and wage subsidy for NVTC students. The MOU seek to train and recruit students in different fields to provide the government and private sectors with promising young employees. <laughs> 